Now it is not the first time that Harper Wings has released a single aisle freighter in Skull 500, but it is definitely a rarity, so it is no surprise that many collectors, including me, were very excited when Harper announced this aircraft model. And now that it is here, we'll have to find out if it is any good. And we can do that thanks to the great prices of the FMB shop. Do check them out, you can find a link to them in the video description below. And with that, hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at an Airbus A321-200 P2F of Lufthansa Cargo. And Lufthansa typical, we have a quite lovely box design with an image of the aircraft in real life here at the front and the Lufthansa Cargo branding. Now, when Harper makes these Lufthansa boxes, they of course don't really do anything because Lufthansa delivers them all the graphic elements, like for example, this schematic of the, or this front view of the aircraft here on the back of the box. Now, there is a mistake on this box. A helper by now knows about it. Um, whether it's Lufthansa that have provided the wrong graphics or if Harper made a mistake is not known. What is known is that Harper, of course, didn't check their product before shipping it out because on one of the sides, instead of having a, well, freighter, we have a A321neo. It's not a huge mistake, but it does kind of show how little effort Harper puts into their boxes. And if they put this little effort into the box, how much will they put into the model? And that is, of course, the question we want to answer in today's review, where we here have the A321-200 P2F in the current standard livery of Lufthansa Cargo. P2F, of course, means passenger to freighter, because this aircraft used to be a passenger aircraft and was then converted to become a full freighter. This in itself is by no means a rarity, but the fact that we have a single aisle freighter from Harper Wings, that is rather rare. So, of course, we want to figure out what they have done with this aircraft model and if it is actually worth our money and time. And the best way to do so is to take a closer look at it, starting off with the tail section, where we on the vertical stabilizer find the Lufthansa branding. On the fuselage, we then have the full registration code of the aircraft, the German flag and the flag of the European Union. Towards the very tail of the aircraft, we then also have a bit of detailing around the APU exhaust. On top of the fuselage, we then find a set dome, and yes, the aircraft in real life does have a set dome, but it is not nearly as large as we see it here. I think the better solution would have been not to add it as a physical detailing, but simply indicate it in print. But have I decided just to add a standard piece they already have laying around instead of doing it correctly? If we move to the front of the aircraft, we can see across the fuselage we have the Lufthansa cargo writing. Underneath that we find more writing, which says operated by Lufthansa CityLine, because that is the division of Lufthansa that is operating the aircraft on behalf of Lufthansa Cargo. And underneath that we have the name of the aircraft, which in this case is Hello Europe. We also have a few static ports, which is quite lovely. But the main feature here is, of course, the main cargo hatch on the side of the fuselage, which is, I mean, perfectly fine, but we could just have had so many more details that Harper could have added to highlight this rather important detail of the aircraft. Underneath the cockpit windows, we then also find the Lufthansa logo. And, uh, well, since we're already there, we should also take a look at the cockpit section itself, which has the cockpit windows with the window wipers added on. So also here, not too many printed details, but at least this time I would say the cockpit section actually resembles that of an A321, which is rather rare with Harper Wings nowadays. Then the engine nacelles, they have been kept in all white, just as most of the fuselage, but we do find the silver leading edge, as well as some safety markings printed on. Again, not too much detailing here, but at least the safety markings do elevate the engines a little bit. When it comes to the physical detailing, I don't want to complain. I think that is perfectly fine, especially here from the front, where we very nicely can see the engine fan blades. Moving on from the engine cells to the wings, which we should also take a closer look at, we can start off with the top side, where we have the different flaps, slats, and spoilers carved out quite nicely. Just a few parts are drowned a little bit away by the white paint. The underside of the wings, I think, however, looks even nicer with lovely physical detailing. And of course, we also have the classic wingtip fences of the Airbus A321 here on this aircraft model, which I think Harper has done a very good job with as well. And then we have the 
landing gear. That is the standard landing gear that Harbour uses for all the A320 family aircraft models. A good thing for the main landing gear, which looks nice. The front landing gear, as always, is massively oversized. And of course, I am also missing some printed details. When we look at the belly of the aircraft, we can also see Harper has, as usual, added their hole into the fuselage for a stand which is not included with this aircraft model. It doesn't destroy any printed details, which is why I can live with it, but it's still a bit nonsensical. And then last but not least, we do also have the remaining doors to the cargo compartments printed on here at the back of the aircraft and also here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Airbus A321-200 P2F in the standard livery of Lufthansa Cargo from Harper Wings in scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? I mean, yes, Harper could and should have added many more printed details to this aircraft model, which would really have elevated the model overall. We have some issues when it comes to the massively oversized set dome and the front landing gear that is way too big as well. But on the other hand, I actually quite like the cockpit section for whatever reason this time around. Before getting the model, I had some concerns concerns about the placement of the main cargo hatch and the Lufthansa cargo writing, but now that I have the model I think it is perfectly fine. And I don't want to make it sound like I don't like the model, because overall I actually do, but I have one big concern with this model. And that is actually the white tone of the livery. You see, when I was handling this aircraft model for this review, I had it under my studio lighting and the white tone was changing constantly, which is never a good sign. And the last time I experienced something like this, well, was with the first version of the Lufthansa Dreamliner, which simply had the wrong white tone. So when I compare this aircraft model with the last Lufthansa aircraft model in the new Lufthansa livery, where I know that the white tone is correct, my concerns are not quite alleviated. Now, granted, the model that I'm comparing the Lufthansa cargo with was recorded in a different setup, but under similar light conditions. But the white tone of the two models should be identical, and they're not. Now, it's pointless to really argue about this with Harper Wings because their response will simply be white is white. And yes, granted, when you have the aircraft model in front of you just like that, you will probably not even notice it until you place it next to another Lufthansa aircraft model. And maybe I'm just splitting hairs here, but in my world, white is not simply white. There are huge differences. And therefore, for me, it's honestly a bit of a letdown but what are your thoughts on this topic let me know in the comment section below and with that we have reached the end of today's video if you have enjoyed this video then don't forget to leave a like and if you are new around here why not hit subscribe with that i'd like to say thank you very much for watching hope to see you soon again i'm checking out and bye